Steady, gently now, Caesar, gently now. Jane? Yes, Your Highness? We've been galloping for ten leagues now, and we haven't found a path into this forest. It's impossible to get through these thorn hedges, Your Highness. There's a farm over there. We'll water our horses there. Right, Your Highness. Perhaps the peasants will know something about the secret of this wood. honor you do us, your highness, to stop at our modest home. Father! Coming! Grandfather! His royal highness, Prince Charming, is here. Oh, uh, if his royal highness would care to enter, he can take some refreshment while his horses are seen to. Thank you, my good man. But before anything else, can you tell me what that wood is over there? Wood? What secret does it contain? Ah, Your Highness, at all costs, you must not go into that wood. It's the place where the witches in the kingdom meet. I've even heard people say that it's the threshold to the devil's empire. Handsome prince, pay no attention to the stupid stories these young people hear me tell you. I'm nearly a hundred years old. I'm, I'm not much good for anything more now, but I remember when I was a boy, my father telling me a beautiful story. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen who were very angry at not having any children. Angrier than you could ever imagine. My dear, we've been all over the world. We've done everything we can. We've made pilgrimages, we've made vows, promises, but all in vain. Sire, do not despair. I have just come to announce a piece of news which will clear all the anxiety from your brow. Uh -huh. Heaven is sending us a child. <sighs> Their Majesties, the King and no, Queen are ready. Their Majesties, the King and Queen, are very happy to announce to their faithful subjects the birth of their little princess. Oh. <clears throat> the christening will take place in three days' time. The seven fairies in the kingdom are invited, for each of them will be a godmother. And on the occasion of this christening, the people are invited to make merry and to feast. <coughs> For this day is declared a national holiday by royal command. And three days later, These are the seven fairies that their majesties invited so as each of them could give the princess a present. How beautiful they are. Their clothes are shining like thousands of lights. My husband's a cook at the palace, and he told me there'd be a big banquet for the fairies. The table will be covered with the finest linen, and each of the fairies will have a special gold case with yes, a name but... printed on it. Now listen, and in that case, there'll be a gold knife, a gold fork, and a gold spoon, yes, but... all studded with diamonds and rubies. My husband told me. Who are you, old woman? I don't think I invited you. It doesn't matter what I'm called. I'm the oldest fairy in the kingdom. And you're right, you didn't invite me. I've been living in a tower hidden in the heart of a wood for 50 years now. Everybody thinks I'm dead, but I'm alive. <laughs> 
I'm alive, all right. You'll see. Uh, but set uh, one more place for the old fairy. Uh, our daughter will have eight presents instead of seven. Why haven't I got a gold case with a gold knife and a gold fork and a gold spoon like the others? Yeah, well, uh, my dear, dear lady, I imagine you see that there were only um, seven fairies in my kingdom, so I only had uh, seven cases. Perhaps you're and... thinking I'm too old to get a present of gold and diamonds oh, and no. rubies. Oh, or perhaps uh, you're thinking that because I haven't got any teeth left, teeth I teeth. don't think anything to eat with. Well, my dear lady, I assure you that is quite untrue. Uh, here is your place set with um, silver cutlery, but, but... I, I shall tell the court jeweller to make you a gold set straight away, just like these that your sister fairies have got. No, no, it's no use now. It's too late. Oh. Too late. But I really have no intention. Ah, treating me like that. Treating me like that? I'm going to cast a spell on the daughter of this king who despises me so. Meanwhile, the other fairies were beginning to give their presents to the princess. Princess. You will be the most beautiful person in the world. Princess, you will be the cleverest person in the world. Princess, you will be graceful in everything you do. Princess, you will dance most beautifully. You will move as lightly as a butterfly in the spring. Princess, your voice will be as sweet as a nightingale's. Princess, you will play every musical instrument that there is perfectly. Come on, old fairy. It's your turn now. Listen, all of you. King, queen, courtiers, guards and servants. Listen to my gift. Princess, you will be beautiful, intelligent, graceful. You will dance and you will sing. You will play musical instruments perfectly. All this until the day when you will pierce your hand with a spindle and die. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. oh it's impossible. It's dreadful. Guards, guards, seize that woman. Oh, oh, she's run away. Oh, no, she's slipping through the guard's arms. I've never seen a woman run so quickly. You mustn't forget that she is a fairy. Don't worry, Your Majesties. When I saw that old woman, I recognized her as being the only wicked fairy in the kingdom. I heard her muttering under her breath, so I hid myself behind the tapestry so that I would be able to speak last. The little princess will not die. No. It's true that I'm not strong enough to undo entirely what my elder has done. Oh. The princess is going to pierce her hand with a spindle. But instead of dying, she will simply fall into a deep sleep which will last for a hundred years. At the end of that time, a prince will come and wake her up. Thank you with all my heart, sweet fairy. Musicians, tune up your instruments. That old witch is not going to spoil the christening festivities. <laughs> Nevertheless, that very day, just to make sure that there was no danger. <clears throat> By proclamation of His Majesty the King, may God protect him, it is forbidden to spin wool on a spindle, or for anyone to have a spindle in his house. <clears throat> anyone found with a spindle in his possession is liable to undergo the death penalty. The 
following day, the seven fairies met in council. My friends, the situation is very serious. Very serious indeed. I think we should say that the situation is extremely serious. Extremely serious indeed. My friends, we haven't come here to imitate a meeting of the Great Council. When I say that the situation is serious, I mean what I say. We are all godmothers to the little princess. In other words, we have an enormous responsibility. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, you know the threat that lies over our godchild. A threat whose force, happily, has been diminished by the presence of mind of the youngest of our sisterhood. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well Splendid done. Work. Thank you indeed. Uh, nevertheless, it is our duty as godmothers to protect this innocent child from the curse laid upon her by the wicked fairy. Our honor is at stake. Oh, yes. Oh, the wicked fairy is older than we are, and she's got a trick or two up her sleeve, but there are seven of us, and she is alone. She'll need the help of the devil himself to get the better of us. This is the plan I have devised. And the little princess grew up, just as the little girls do the world over. There was just this one little difference. Wherever she went, she was sure to be accompanied by uh, either uh, uh, seven little flowers or seven little sparrows or even uh, seven little dragonflies. For this was part of the fairy's plan, never to leave the princess alone for a second, but always to be at hand to protect her against the wiles of the wicked fairy. And so the princess reached the age of 16 without any noteworthy incident troubling her life. But the day of her 16th birthday... I'm extremely tired. Extremely tired indeed. Which one of us was it that suggested we should turn ourselves into butterflies? Who was it now? Not me. Nor me. Mm, yes, it was the youngest of us. You should be fine for this. You know very well that we were already behind the royal coach. And then you suggested, and we accepted because we hadn't time to think it over, that we should all turn ourselves into butterflies. It's a very slow transformation in any case. And now we can't fly very fast, which makes it very difficult for us to catch up with a coach drawn by eight good horses. It's the first time it's happened to me. I thought it was such a good idea to change ourselves into beautiful coloured butterflies. Oh, colours, indeed. Look at yourself now. Covered in dust, your wings torn by the wind, completely exhausted. I'm terribly sorry, all of you. Shh! We've nearly reached the coach now. Listen to what's going on inside. Ah, we've nearly arrived. <sighs> Not a moment too soon, either. This country house is an awfully long way away from our palace, and the heat's unbearable. Oh, I think it's lovely to travel 15 or 20 leagues into the country. The flowers are so pretty in the springtime, and they smell so good. Father, may I go for a walk in the park and gather some primroses and violets? Yes, of course, my dear, but be careful. There are a lot of insects and snakes, and it looks very black on the horizon. A storm must be coming this way. If it starts to rain, Father, I'll come back straight away. All right. Now be good. Bring back a nice bunch of flowers. Did you hear that, everybody? Quickly, there's not a moment to lose. We've simply got to change ourselves into violets. Now, you've all got your wands. One last effort now. 
We can have a rest when the princess has gathered us. Water, water from the stream here, brought down from the mountains. Oh, what beautiful violets. You really are beautiful. You'll be the queens in my bouquet. But what was that? A drop of rain. And another, and another. Now there's thunder. Oh, I'm frightened. And I don't know where the castle is. There's a tower over there. I'll go and shelter in it. I'm sorry, little flowers. I must leave you and go and shelter. Goodbye. It's breaking me to pieces. Oh, I'm so... My petals have all fallen off. Come on, quickly, everybody. We'll have to run after the princess. We must catch up with her quickly, quickly. But I can't. I'm all wet. Oh, I've lost my wand. I can't change myself back again. Oh, help me to find it. Here, take mine. Oh, oh, hurry up, everybody. Oh, where's the seventh fairy? The youngest of us. Oh, she's fainted. She was hit by a huge drop of rain. Oh, revive her quickly. The princess will be at the tower before we know where we are. Here's the tower at last. Good. Under shelter now. But I'm soaked to the skin. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll wait until the weather clears up a little, and then I'll run back to the palace and change my clothes. You'll go to the palace, but you won't go in the way you're thinking you will. Who spoke there? We've been waiting for you for a long time. And our mistress has been waiting for you for a long time. Who are you? Where are you? I'm the spider. You can see my web in the corner behind you. You're a stupid old thing, spider. For one thing, you're ugly. And for another, you talk a lot of nonsense. I've always been told that spiders talk a lot of nonsense. Huh? Nonsense indeed. Nonsense. Ah, there's an old friend of mine waking up. Tell me, Owl, have you ever heard anyone say that I talk a lot of nonsense? Never, my friend. Never. But who says you do anyway? I do. It's a little princess we've been waiting for for such a long time. <laughs> the little princess, the little princess. Our mistress is going to be very pleased about this. I'll make the signal we agreed upon so that Qua can warn her. Who's Qua? Why, my friend, the black crow, of course. Can't you hear him? Who are you? What do you want with me? I'm frightened. Very frightened. Ah, so you're frightened, are you? You're beginning to see that I'm not so stupid as all that. Oh, music. I hear music. Yes. Beautiful music. Coming from the top of the tower. 
climb the staircase, little princess. Go on, climb the staircase. The music is calling you. Yes, the music is calling me. Needless to say, handsome prince, while this was going on, the fairies were outside. Can't you move more quickly, all of you? Hurry up! Oh, hurry up! I'm sure it's the wicked fairy who has enticed the princess into the tower. Oh, we must save her! Hurry up, or we'll be late! Oh, yes, let's hurry. Yes, let's hurry indeed. Oh, I've still got three violet petals and they're getting in my way. And inside the tower, the princess went on climbing and climbing. Will I ever get to the top of this staircase? Oh, here's a door. The music's coming from the other side. I'll open it. Good afternoon, little princess. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, old lady. Who are you? And where was the music coming from I heard a moment ago? I'm just an old woman, as you can see, and I spin my wool on this wheel. I've got a magic spindle as well. It's the spindle which makes the music. Here. Take it in your hands, and you'll hear the music start again. Quickly now, take it in your hands. Thank you very much. She is not dead, you old witch. She's only asleep. We arrived too late to keep her out of your clutches, but thanks to the youngest of us, she isn't dead. She will only sleep for a hundred years. But let us get rid of this henchwoman of a devil. Get, get away, get out of the house. Get away, get away. Go get away. Out, wicked go witch. We failed. Oh. We failed in our task. The wicked fairy has beaten us. We must take our godchild back to the palace and prepare her for her long sleep. Yes, but what will she do when the prince comes to wake her up in a hundred years' time? She won't recognize anything. Her parents will have long since been dead. There won't be anyone she knows. Her clothes she'll won't be, be very hungry. Hungry. She'll be very hungry. She'll be very dear. To look after oh, her. She'll need servants to prepare oh, the wedding feast for the wedding. Will take oh, place immediately. We must oh, what all shall we do? talk at the same time. We must think this out carefully. Yes. We must think. We must think carefully. Carefully indeed. I've got an idea. Let's put everybody in the castle to sleep for a hundred years. Oh, yes, that's what we yes, What a good idea. Oh, idea. Off we go, everybody, anyway. to the palace. Everybody was in despair. Where is my daughter? My daughter, my poor daughter. Chief Butler, Chief, ah, Chief Butler, tell all the footmen to search every room in the palace. Tell the coachman to search the cellars and the stables. Tell the guards to search the attics. And tell the gardeners to search the park. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You ought to be here already back and uh, making a report. Yes, Your Majesty. Hurry up, all of you. You ought to be back already and making a report. What's that I see over there? Must be the fairies. They are carrying something. Oh, they are carrying my daughter, my little daughter. 
My poor little daughter. Daughter of our king is dead. Yes, yes, she's dead. Daughter of our king is dead. Daughter of our king is dead. Dear king, dear queen, you mustn't cry. Do not be sad, everybody. It is true that the princess has fallen into the trap set for her by the wicked fairy, but as the youngest of us promised at her christening, she has only fallen asleep for a hundred years. Do not worry. She will not find herself alone when she wakes up, for we are all going to put everybody in the castle to sleep as well. Are you ready, fairies? Yes. We are ready. We are quite ready. We are perfectly ready. Perfectly ready indeed. Well then, to work with your wands. And then an extraordinary thing took place. Within a second, Everyone fell fast asleep in the position he was in when he was touched by the magic wand. And he had the king on his throne, the queen in an armchair, the courtiers as they stood, struck with wonder or with fear. A lady making a curtsy, a lackey putting a log on the fire in the great fireplace, the cooks preparing the meal, the horses in the stables. In short, everybody and everything was sent to sleep. Then, once their task was over, the fairies met together in the great hall of mirrors. Who's missing? It's the youngest of us. She's always behind or something, indeed. Here I am. Here I am. Where have you been? I've been finishing off the work you others left undone. Oh, really? What on earth do you mean? Well, there was the fire to put to sleep. Otherwise, everybody would have been frozen when they woke up. I'm terribly sorry if I've said nasty things about you. You've got much more common sense than the rest of us put together. Now, it's time for us to go. We mustn't forget to put all the animals in the park to sleep. Oh, yes. And to protect the castle while everyone's asleep, we'll have to make a thick forest grow around it. Right. We ourselves will settle in this forest until the day that Prince Charming comes. And that Prince Charming is why the forest is too thick for anyone to be able to get into it. Mm. Tell me, old man, how old are you? I am uh, 97 years old. Thank you. I won't forget you. Come on, James, to horse. Where are we going now, Your Highness? Straight into the forest. Come on, Caesar. In we go. Right through the hedges. Your Highness. This must be her room. Oh. She's even more beautiful than I thought. Dear, beautiful princess, here I am. Is that you, my prince? I have been waiting for you for a long time. It was necessary, dear princess. But who's this coming in at the door? The fairies. Yes, Prince Charming. We have just woken up the whole castle. The people, the king, the queen, the courtiers, the servants, the cooks, everybody and everything. But who are you, pretty fairies? What are you doing here? They are your godmothers, dear princess. It's thanks to them that I am here. It's all a very long story. A very long story that we will tell you someday, but there isn't time now. Do you hear these bells? Dear Prince, dear Princess, these bells are ringing for your wedding. The King and the Queen and all the court are waiting for you downstairs. 
And now we must go and get ready ourselves. I'm going to wear my best lace. I'm going to wear my satin dress. I'm going to put on my pearl necklace. I'm going to wear my diamond shoe. Indeed. Wait for me, please wait for me. Oh dear, I'm always lost. It's not fair. Wait for me. Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs>